Hello, uh, welcome back to VA Creative. So if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you may have noticed that I've been sending out a lot of cards last week, and uh, I was doing that Megan Quinlan uh, scribble stick thing that she does. Oh, she does it so well. Though technically, uh, those cards were inspired by Suzanne Rosart, so it was like a, a double inspiration. <gasps> double rainbow, you guys. Anyway, uh, I also really liked that uh, tag tearing thing that I did last week. So I was like, hmm, what would happen if you combine the two? And this, this is what happens. So I am starting with some Distress Oxide Sprays on a size 8 minimal tag. And I'm doing that smushing technique um, where, you know, you, you stamp it down like so on some acetate. And then you add some water and then you pick it up and you smush it. What you're not seeing, however, is me drying everything between the instances of smushing. <laughs> because if you don't, it'll get muddy. So I have just hit it with a heat gun in between each, each separate instance of smushing. I just really like saying that. And I've let it dry. I did remember, however, that Distress Oxide inks will resist acrylic paint. So I have some Liquitex Unbleached Titanium that I am applying haphazardly through a stencil, and I am also going to let that dry, though I am just going to cover that up. That was completely moot, um, but I didn't know that at the time. So now I have some Distress Oxide sprays. As always, check the description box below for a list of the full supplies, and I'm just I'm just tapping it with my finger, you know, I'm doing that thing to get some splatters. So while that is drying, I'm going to work on the section of tag that I'm going to put back in after I tear it. This is, uh, I'm using bright white cardstock and this is how I'm going to leave some white space in my tag because as you may recall from literally just watching me create the tag, it's pretty much well uncovered. I'm also using some of that Dina Wakely uh, plain collage paper, you know, the one that's all white and doesn't have any of the, the text on it. I have a really hard time ripping it vertically, which is something I've probably complained about before, sorry, but I can rip it wonderfully uh, horizontally. <laughs> like I rip it so well, I should be a DJ. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Uh, and so that that's just what I'm doing. I'm using Hickory Smoke Archival Ink because I want something very subtle and I thought black is going to be too dark and I used brown last week. And the gray on the white just looks so pretty. So after I get my mess cleaned up, it is time to start working on my focal point. Um, in hindsight, and looking at this now, I feel like I should apologize. I probably needed to move the camera up a little further so that you can see but you know what it, it's a it's done I mean I can't do anything about it now so uh, oh I did have the sense to kind of slide the whole stamping platform over a little bit good job Pat Shannon so what I have done is taken some Dina Wakely scribble sticks and this is from her third set in metallic it is mineral gilt ancient and sterling I cannot believe that I remembered all of those names as you can see uh, I started with the mineral first and because I didn't clean my stamp it looks kind of purple that's okay uh, we're gonna fix that I'm just gonna ignore it I, I am hitting it with a heat gun in between each layer to make sure it's dry um, before I kind of channel Suzanne Rose and use them almost like watercolor because it was purple this is how I fix it I just went over it again that's all I did and I just decided that I'm going to ignore the little bits of purple in there because I'm really feeling like grays and olives and yellows right now. I don't know why, but those colors are speaking to me. So I, th that's the theme of the tag. I'm hitting the leaves with the gilt and ancient. And then once I've got, you know, kind of the effect I'm looking for, I'm using the water brush to start pulling out some of the color. And this is where I've kind of learned from watching all of Suzanne's videos is you want to leave white space in this. Again, she does this with watercolor, and I'm doing it with scribble sticks, obviously. But I feel like the technique's the same. I'm leaving uh, little blotches of white space. I'm not pulling it and covering the whole thing, because in addition to creating depth, it's what also makes it look artsy and kind of like abstracty. So now that I've got it like how I want, this is where the magic happens, and it just blows my mind. You stamp back over top of it with ink. I chose uh, that hickory smoke gray. I, no, sorry, that is, that's brown. I did, I did a brown because I thought the black was going to be too overwhelming. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking pretty. I can't stand it. I'm like, oh, I wish in real time you guys should have heard me. It, it, I was, 
I was like losing my shit while I was doing this. So now it is time to start assembling uh, the tag. Disregard that brown thing in the top right hand corner. Uh, I had had an idea for something and it didn't work and I just forgot to, to take it off my desk. So I'm, we're not gonna use that. So I am ripping my tag, trying not to give a flip how I rip it because that's how I get the best results. And this time, unlike last week, I really want to be able to see the rip. I want it like really harsh and obvious against that gray and white. So I have inked the edges of the rip with some uh, Distress Ink, it's probably Vintage Photo. And now I'm going to glue down the back of the tag, which is pretty self-explanatory how I <laughs> how I do this. I'll spare you. So once I have it uh, good and glued down, I'm just trimming up the edges. And I'm going to start kind of assembling everything together. But mm, it, it's missing something. It, it didn't need that. I just cut that little, the little bloomy leaf thing off. But it, it's, it's missing something. I didn't really want to add any more text stamping or stamping to the background because I didn't want to take away from the text and the, the white space that I had created. So I was like, hmm, what would happen if I did some stitching? I did contemplate running it through my sewing machine, but then immediately decided against that because I'm, I'm just not that good of a sewer. So I was like, nope, Shannon, you're going to use your dies. You have promised yourself that you're going to use more of those this year. So I have that Sizzix Alterations die. It's the Tim Holtz Mixed Media Set. I uh, took some paper and, well, I had to ink it twice because originally it wasn't dark enough. I inked the paper, ran it through, you just saw. And I'm going to take those little squiggly lines and I'm going to rip them in half to make X's, which I hope, and I think, I think I, I nailed this, looks like really large stitches holding the two pieces of paper in place. Um, so this is how we do that. I, I literally just rip them in half and then I'm gluing them down. There is uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Boom. I love it. I think it looked fantastic and it just reinforced that yes, I do need to use my dies more often. Now I have, um, now it's perfect. I don't need to add anything else. So I'm adding my little sentiment. I could not fit the rest of that quote on the tag. I just went with idea because that's what this started with. And this is our finished tag, you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Hey, here's some more videos that you might like, and please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that you can see more of my content.